Cryptography is the practice and study of encoding and decoding information to prevent confidential information from being stolen. Cryptographic strategies are commonly used to protect banking information, passwords, credit card information, and for national security. The list of potential ciphers could potentially go on forever. The cryptographic strategies can be mixed together, tweaked, customized to create a very highly protected cipher. The Hill cipher was invented in 1929 and was the first cipher to have the ability to decode three inputs at once. The Hill cipher is a great example of linear algebra application in cryptography. The modulo operation is crucial to Hill ciphers as it is performed after almost every step. The easiest way to think about modulo is that it is the remainder after dividing something. So modulo 7, 3 would be 1 because 7 can be divided by 3 a total of 2 times, leaving a remainder of 1. Similarly, 30 modulo 26 would be equal to 4, because 30, 26 goes into 30 once, leaving a remainder of 4. With negative numbers, it's slightly odder, but it behaves in a similar way, just with the number of greater magnitude than the negative. So negative 11 modulo 26 would be 15, because negative 11 is 15 away from negative 26, which is the next multiple. The Hill cipher starts by the creation of a 2x2 two two matrix. This 2x2 two two matrix is the key that will encode the information or message. In this case, the word linear was encoded. Numbers are assigned to letters starting with a equals 0, b equals 1, c equals 2, and so on. The numbers are then placed in a two-row matrix, as so. The key is then multiplied by the individual columns of the two-row matrix, and the modulo 26 operation is performed on each component due to the 26 letters of the alphabet. The individual vectors are then recombined in the same order, resulting in a different two-row matrix that now contains the disguised message. Decrypting is slightly more complicated. To find our matrix to use as a key for decoding, we first find the inverse of our original key. This inverse must be found by multiplying the inverse of the original key's determinant by the adjugate matrix. The adjugate matrix is easy to find for a 2x2 two two matrix. A 2x2 two two matrix containing A, B, C, and D simply becomes D, negative B, negative C, and A. So our key of 7, 8, 11, and 11 becomes 11, negative 8, negative 11, and 7, which, once we modulo by 26, gives us a final adjugate matrix of 11, 18, 15, and 7. Now, to find the inverse of the determinant, we first find the determinant of the original key matrix. In this case, it is negative 11. Then we modulo by 26, resulting in 15. Now we can find the determinant inverse by finding whatever number multiplied by the determinant will result in 1 after being moduloed by 26, which means that in this case, d inverse is equal to 7, as 15 times 7 is equal to 105. When modulo 26 is performed on 105, we get 1. Thus, d inverse equals 7. Finally, to find k inverse, simply multiply the adjugate matrix we found earlier by the inverse of the determinant and modulo by 26 once more. In this instance, our k inverse is equal to 25, 22, 1, and 23. Now that we have k inverse, all we have to do is the exact same thing we did to get our original encrypted message. We take each vector of our encrypted matrix, 11, 1, 19, 5, and 6, 5, and we multiply them individually by k inverse. And of course, make sure to modulo by 26 after multiplying. If you'll notice, we now have a matrix identical to the one immediately after we converted our letters to numbers previously. Now that we have the same numerical matrix which we started with, we can easily convert it back from numbers to letters to reveal linear, our original message. Hill ciphers can also be done with 3x3 or larger matrices, but this makes the process more complicated and tedious. So for simplicity's sake, we used a 2x2 matrix. You can also modify the number you modulo by. If you wanted to include characters other than the basic alphabet, you can make it modulo 36 to include the alphabet plus numbers 0 through 9. You can also modulo by 27 so that some numbers represent spaces or gaps.